Hey guys, my name is Shubhan Ketha. I work at Accenture as a data scientist. And in this video, I'll be building a complete dashboard of cricket analytics over Power BI. I'll be using a ball by ball IPL data and I'll be uh, building some insights over it, which will help you in making some decisions in cricket analytics. So if you're someone who is uh, highly involved in fantasy sports, you like playing fantasy sports, you like making teams on MPL or Dream11 or some other platform, or you're someone who's looking for a proper cricket analytics role in your career, this video is for you. So do watch the video till end, do follow along with me uh, while doing this code and do, while doing this complete project and uh, do subscribe to Project Pro for more learning videos. Thank you. So guys, in this tutorial, our main goal is to create a Power BI dashboard, which will include a proper cricket, uh, cricket analytics. And our main purpose is to, uh, you know, when we talk about cricket, so cricket is something that is really close to our heart as an Indian. And you know, most of our decisions we take on fantasy sports, you know, there are many apps on fan which are, you know, giving you a platform to play fantasy sports. But most of our decisions that we take on fantasy sports are based on hype or, you know, or some fan following or some just, uh, you know, uh, you know, decisions that are not logical or practical. And, you know, what we have observed, uh, you know, even now, if you have seen IPL auctions, there is a person which, who is a proper data analyst or a data scientist sitting at the table and, you know, the whole decisions are making by the data science. Right. So main goal is that uh, to learn along with enjoying the cricket. Right. As you know, there's a cricket season it is at your peak this moment. So what we are going to do in this session is we have a data of a ball by ball IPL data and we will be making a proper analytical dashboard over Power BI. And then, uh, you know, we'll see how we can use data science in taking important decisions in cricket and <clears throat> how well, you know, different aspects affect, uh, you know, the decisions making in cricket right so let's see the data once before uh, going ahead so we have like ball by ball ipl data and it's from the first season of ipl that it was in 2008 to 2022 and uh, it has all these columns you have season you have the venue you have like which innings the ball is we are talking about you have exact ball number right so basically here 3.3 would means that it's a uh, three over has been passed and it's like third ball of the uh, fourth over right the batting team striker non striker the bowler runs of that particular ball of the bat and different uh, like if there are any penalty runs and wide or those kind of runs and then what is a wicket type and what is a, who is a player dismissed right so we will be taking this data as an input to power bi and then uh, we will be seeing okay what sort of analytical we will uh, we will uh, you know we can build over it so just uh, you know follow along with me and uh, later you can uh, you know you can use your own insights your own cricketing knowledge into what additional uh, you know things we can put uh, in this particular dash in the dashboard and make some decisions so you know just uh, take learning from this uh, you know particular dashboard and uh, later when you let's say you make a fantasy team or later you know just you are talking to your <coughs> talking to a friend about cricket you can uh, talk about the analytics and it will be more fun uh, this way when you start watching cricket okay so i have opened power bi dex uh, desktop here and uh, you know let's uh, first import the data so i'll go and get data and it will give me an option to uh, you know fetch data there are multiple ways as we know in power bi there are n number of ways in uh, importing data and these you know all these uh, ways i'm increasing e after each edition of power bi there will be more sources you know more accessibility more user friendliness in this particular tool so our current data is a text csv file and you i'll add a description of this data into this uh, like in the video and you can get the data from there so <coughs> Let me first get the data and it would be somewhere, yeah, uh, yeah, it's there. So this is our ball by ball IPL data. And now once we have taken the data, so, you know, it will go in, uh, like you have two options here. You can directly load the data or you can transform the data. So we will need to transform the data as we'll need some additional columns in our data. So let's go with transform first and then, uh, you know, <coughs> we can uh, make some columns. So you have a match ID, you have a season you have start date you have venue we don't need to change that uh, you have innings uh, you have ball and then you have the batting team we see rcb there so like if any rcb fan do let me know in the comments and uh, <coughs> striker non-striker baller uh, runs of the bat extras wides no balls buys leg buys penalty uh, wicket type player dismissed wicket type uh, other wicket type and other player dismissed right so the first thing that I think we'll need is one column, which is, 
so what i want is that one column to say okay in this particular ball i got a wicket right so let's create a column of out right so it will have a zero if nothing happened and one uh, if you know some sort some kind of dismissal is there right so for example caught is one type of dismissal right uh, let's add a column i can just use uh, you know power bi's conditional column uh, feature here so i'll name this particular column as uh, let's say out and if my uh, wicket type is equals to null uh, <coughs> let's say does not equal to null so if my wicket type is not equal to null uh, not equal to null if i write nothing it would be taken as null i need an output as 1 right and else the output should be 0 okay and <coughs> okay right so it's a uh, uh yeah now i can see okay if the batsman is out it is one there rest is one and let me change its uh, you know data type to uh, maybe <coughs> sorry uh let's keep this data type to uh numerical if possible i think it's taking its numerical but uh, yeah it's taking its numerical right so no worries of it but uh, yeah this would be one data that we want it's an out column the other data i think we should have it's over column right so we have here uh, ball by ball data right so we can have uh, analysis of ball by ball of particular range of data but it will be good to have overs also right so i'll create one more column so i'll add a custom column here so i'll go a custom column mm -hmm. add a data of overs it's not directly given to us in the column and then i'll add one <coughs> uh so it would be something like round up i guess round up yeah numbers are round up and then i want this particular column i want the number of round up of overs uh, sorry balls right so it's taking at balls and i'll just say okay right so it has now given me over let's see it should not exceed 20 yeah <coughs> okay so now when we have this uh, we have overs we have out we don't need i think any other column okay so it works fine till now let me see once again and uh, it's a format it's statistics and transform data type let's make this a whole number it would be easier to analyze later yeah so once i've done with all the transformation i'll do a close and apply and what this will do it will uh, you know put the source <coughs> put the source data of my power bi as that one transform data that we have just created right so now the data that i have in power bi would be a transform data which i have just created and it has all the columns i need so it should have a out column exactly it has put uh, you know default measure on it to sum up out we'll see if we need that and the other would be overs right so let's see yeah overs so we have both of these things right <coughs> really sorry about that okay so the first thing that we'll do is uh you know we'll uh, just first uh uh let's start doing uh building things right so first i need a slicer right i need a slicer i need a slicer of choosing a venue right so i'll just uh, add venue here so my venue column is uh, here it'll just come like this and <coughs> okay so it has just come like this it has all the venues and i'll keep it like this only the other thing I'll do is uh, once I've selected the venue, what I need is I need one more slicer over the seasons, right? Okay, or uh, which year it is, right? So I need one more slicer. So I'll click somewhere else, choose a slicer from here and put a, it somewhere like here, right? It will be like a, a slider kind of, a, like this was your uh, drop down. Uh, and now nah, this was not a drop down. This was like a checkbox one. And later <coughs> for the season, we can have, a, you know, uh, these kind of things right so just try to understand the difference between when to choose this and this when you have a range of values it's better to choose this kind of a slicer else you can choose a drop down right similarly uh, just like i have a venue i'll choose uh, you know i'll choose one more i'll create one more slicer and this time uh, i'll create it on uh, let's say i'll create this one on <coughs> innings okay so there was a column of innings just here where is yeah it is okay 
so now here i need to change it i want it to be a drop down and some of you might be thinking why the sixth innings because there's two innings in cricket just taking account of the super overs right so if some match has gone to a super over extent it will take to an extent of six right but i want to change the kind of it so i'll go in slicer setting change the style of a slicer and uh, let's say it's a drop down <coughs> okay so now i have inning slicer and i have uh, uh, my season slicer let's say can i have one more slicer uh, yeah i can have a slider on ball right so i'll add one more slicer uh, <coughs> it will come something like here and let's uh, call him uh, okay <coughs> it would be a column on balls right so yeah this one and again i need a slider kind of a session right so now let's say i want the data of only from uh, 10th over to 15th over so i can uh, do that right so this gives us a plus possibility of that also okay so now once we are done with our sliders uh, you know all the filters that will be using you know these will be mostly used for filtering our data let's uh, get our first visual so it would be a, a like most runs right <coughs> most runs in this particular whatever situation we give it to right so what i need here is i need a kpi card right so i'll add a kpi card here and <coughs> i'll add most runs right so what i need here i need a batsman name so it will be like striker and the other value they would have is uh, you know corresponding to them i need uh, runs of the bat right so it will give me the you know runs of all the players these are arranged you can see by uh, their alphabetical order right so now what i want i want to create a filter over this okay so now as i want to create a filter over this and i want to uh, see the top one person right so what i'll do i'll uh, take uh, okay let's create a one more filter of names right so i'll take one more filter of uh, names and i'll do like a top n filtering and i want top one value and the value should be uh, <coughs> based on runs of the bat right <coughs> now once i do apply a filter i'll see ki uh, at the top we have a uh, king kohli right so sorry i'm a virat kohli fan so i'll call him king kohli here. so this gives me uh, like the batsman who has scored most run now if you want to see the magic of our bi is let's say i uh, see like just last four seasons of ipl so you'll see ki it's like kl rahul and if i see like uh, last eight seasons so it would be david warner right so you'll see ki okay things are changing okay similarly for uh, just like we had for uh, batsmen we'll create one for bowlers also so for bowlers i'll also need one kpi card i can just do one thing i can just copy this right and then i can change values in it right so <clears throat> so in place of striker what i'll have i'll have a bowler okay and in place of sum of runs uh, of bat i want to show total wickets right so if i go with out yeah so it will give me all the outs right okay how many uh, you know bo like how many wickets they have okay sum of out for that particular bowler now i'll add a filter over it okay and uh, <clears throat> sorry i need to remove this okay bowler so bowler out and i need to uh, put a filter over it okay and again i'll do a top n top one and i want to uh, filter it out by top wickets right and once i do apply i am getting sandeep sharma reason for it is that it's being uh, <coughs> sorry it was coming according to virat kohli so these uh, two uh, you know data set currently they have uh, this uh, drill down right so basically it's choosing okay virat kohli is being mostly uh, like maximum times it he has uh, i mean uh, you know taken out by uh, you know sandeep sharma right so what we'll do we'll uh, you know do one thing we'll just uh, select this one we go for format data edit interaction and <coughs> we'll uh, once we have edit interaction let me do one thing uh, let me go again on format data edit interaction and <coughs> yeah it works right so we have rat kohli and uh, dj bravo right so uh, most runs most wickets right so this is like our initial uh, you know analysis so i can again now 
uh, see now if I want to see which ball has taken most wickets at the death overs that overs means the end overs right so let's say 16 to 20 overs I'll see uh, <coughs> DJ Bravo is like best uh, he's taken most of the wickets at the end and we'll see Amazoni like at the run wise right which is again correct because he comes down the order right so you see a lot of logic building there and a lot of analysis coming over right <coughs> sorry Again, let's see one more thing. Let's go with the uh, Chinna Swami Stadium. So Chinna Swami, if you know, it's like a home town, home uh, ground for Bangalore, right? So you'll see that most runs here are scored by Virat Kohli, and most wickets are from UZ Chal, right? So it's going correct. Uh, one thing you'll notice right now is uh, our, you know, titles for these cards are not correct. Uh, we'll later correct it. Uh, it's not a big deal, right? Uh, you can correct it just for the time's sake. I'm leaving it as of now. So you just have to go in and put the titles here, you know, and header icons, all these things. It's not a big deal. You can easily do that. So let's focus more on the analytics part right now. Right. So you have uh, two. We have put down two analytics. Let's uh, go with more uh, things like uh, let's uh, take the list of like this is a top run getter, right? I, let's say I'm building a fantasy team, right? So I'll need at least 11 players. So I want to see the analytics of for that particular venue and more uh, by you know putting on more filters i want to see okay what are the who are the top top 10 batsmen or top 20 batsmen right so for that what i'll do <coughs> i'll uh, create a table right so see this type of analytics when we do generally when we make a power bi dashboard or any kind of dashboard we go more with visuals right but in this particular analytics when we need 20 values, it's better to have a table, right? So it's not like a hard strict rule that, okay, if, I, if you're having a table, if you're having a dashboard, you cannot have a table. Of course, tables can also be a part of a dashboard, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> until they're making sense, right? So first table would be our top batsman. <coughs> Sorry, top batsman. So uh, let's see, uh, I want to get top batsman, right? So I'll do a uh, striker. And I want to want, uh, see their runs, runs of the bat, right? Runs of the bat. Okay. <coughs> Let's cut it. Okay. <coughs> so I have this and let me sort it. Sort it by runs of the bat. And yeah, so now this is, uh, this is pretty much uh, what we wanted, right? So, and don't worry about the theme guys. Uh, generally, I you know what i'll prefer is i export a theme from a microsoft store or some external store which is free and then we'll import that theme into the dashboard right so you don't need to uh, choose each particular graph and put a color on it a dashboard should have a theme and it's the best thing to import a theme and put it on your dashboard right so that your more more uh, focus is on building the dashboard rather than you know uh, formatting it putting colors on it right so this was like the most runs. Uh, similarly, let's uh, make a table for ballers, right? So it, this would be uh, most wickets, right? And uh, let's move this table to a little. You'll see, right? Key whenever I click somewhere, now analytics changes because these uh, all tables are click, uh, you know, uh, connected as of now. Later, what we'll do, we'll uh, do a kind of a we'll uh, specify or customize the interaction between these tables, right? So let's. <coughs> first make what we were making right so uh, let me click here uh, and select all the things and on the table what I want I want the baller and I want the wickets right maximum wickets so again uh, you'll see this data is not sorted correctly so yeah now it's in now <coughs> in this table what I want I want uh, ballers and I want wickets so it will be outs okay yeah so again I need to sort it I need to sort it by sum of outs. Okay, so you'll see key most wickets are taken by DJ Bravo. On second, we see our Malenga. Third is Amit Mishra, Ravi Ashwin. All of these are legends of the game, and this particular tournament. Okay, <coughs> okay. So uh, once we are done with this much uh, things, guys, uh, I think now what we should move ahead. It's uh, you know you are staying player level uh, analytics, right? What we uh, plan to create next is a showdown, right? So I want to see analytics of what happens when a particular batsman paces a particular baller, how many runs he has scored up against that particular baller, how many balls he has paced him, and how many times has a baller succeeded to get him out, right? I want to uh, create that, right? So I want to first have a function to uh, select the batsman, 
right so i'll create one slicer to select the batsman right and here the batsman is represented by striker in the data <coughs> right so here i'll choose my batsman and uh, let's change its type to a slicer setting uh, i want it to be a drop down okay <coughs> I think I've selected something somewhere, uh, might be the case, but let's keep it this way, no worries, right? We'll anyway remove the interaction so it will look fine, right? Now just keep it this way only for the sake of simplicity, okay? So we have a striker, uh, similarly we'll have a slicer of, uh, <coughs> add a slicer and we'll have a slicer of uh, ballers. Right, so slicer of ballers. Again, it's coming like this. We'll change the setting of it. Slicer setting, uh, drop down. Okay. So we have uh, slicer and bowler. Now, based on these selections, I want three things. Right. So I want multiple KPI. So I'll select multi card KPI, and uh, <coughs> can have multiple values in. So the first thing I want, once I select the striker and the bowler, I want to see how many runs I have been scored of the bat. I want to see the count of deliveries, how many balls we have faced, right? So in our data, if you see, if I just take a count of uh, match IDs, it will be uh, ball. I can take a count of ball as well. But let's see, uh, I take a count of ball ID because it's a unique field. And <coughs> no, I think I should take a count of ball only. Huh? Okay. So runs of the bat and uh, it will be uh, balls, okay. So I don't want to take a sum of ball, I want to take a count of balls, <coughs> sorry. And last thing I want is uh, my outs, right. So it would be my sum of outs, okay. So this is like total uh, IPL till now. And once I'll filter it out, so let's uh, keep it horizontal, right, for better sake. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, guys, we'll place it properly once uh, we are done with all the insights. So this is my showdown, right? So let's uh, select a batsman, right? So let's uh, select, let's say, Andre Russell, okay? And let's select the baller, okay? So let's say my baller is Bhuvneshwar Kumar. So when I see Andre Russell with Bhuvesh Kumar, I see that, okay, Russ, uh, Russell has scored 63 runs of 31 balls and one time Bhuvneshwar has been succeeded to uh, get him out, right? So this is like one analytics that we are getting out of it. Now, <coughs> uh, this is like a showdown that I have created. Now, what I want to build is a partnership data, right? So, uh, you know, I want to see a partnerships, right? Just like striker and baller and what things that they have done together. Similarly, I want to see uh, one more uh, analytics. Okay, okay, what is the partnership data? Two batsmen, what, how they have performed together, right? So this is one striker and similar way, I'll create a non-striker. And the, my uh, card below would be uh, filtered on the basis of this, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, I created one extra, so let's remove one, huh. right, and in this place of striker, I'll add non-striker, okay, so my non-striker is here. <coughs> now, for these two, what I want is, I want number of balls that they have faced together, and number of deliveries that they have faced together, and number of, uh, like, total runs that they have scored, right, so, there's just two insights, right, so I want uh, the count of balls, so it would be, uh, Count of deliveries, where it is, okay, again runs of bat, runs of the bat, and uh, wicket type, no, 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 I want count of balls, here it is, <coughs> sorry, the balls, and this changes to count, okay, so, now, uh, first thing that, so we have got almost all the analytics that we wanted. So let's take, let's do one thing, let's take one more uh, slicer of teams here, right? So it will be a little bit easier to, uh, you know, filter out things once we have teams also, okay? So uh, let's create one more slicer, uh, right? 
okay so one create one more slicer and this time i'll add a batting team in that slicer okay and it should come like this only okay now what first thing i'll do you'll see a lot of scattered analytics so first thing let's do is uh, it's your edit interaction so what edit interaction does see what power bi does basically is when i click on one uh, insight it basically filters all the other insight based on what i have clicked right so it's good somewhere it's somewhere not required right so we'll specify uh, this particular thing for our you know dashboard right so i have taken the format and uh, i'll go edit and click on edit interaction now any uh, particular uh, insight that i click for example this table so i don't want this table to be affected by this right so i'll click on this and i'll click on this right so next time i click on these values my table will not get affected right and similarly i'll click on this as well i don't want this comparison to be done here and uh, these uh, things will obviously affect uh, my analytics and <coughs> yeah so my stadium would be affect this it will affect this and these values will not affect my uh, analytics these all values will not affect my analytics so whatever values i'll get in this table will only be affected by uh, the values above right so now let's me click somewhere else <coughs> and uh, let's unclick andre russell from here and let's unclick bhuvneshwar kumar from here oh, okay <coughs> all innings okay and uh, okay so somewhere yeah here it is okay okay now it's good virat kohli dj bravo we have all the batsmen so when i'm click on this uh, this data set it's being affected by uh, okay it's being affected by just my these values so it's fine now okay nice <coughs> if i change uh, my value here it's being getting affected right so okay <coughs> uh fine so uh, like this was my initial analysis we have a lot of data here we can go for a showdown here so let's say uh, this particular card i only want to get it affect so let's go one by one okay so this first of all this right so this virat kohli thing uh, i want this to be affected only uh, format and add interaction let it come down okay <coughs> keep all filters okay format data add interaction yeah If I go with DJ Bravo, that this one is not getting affected because we removed it, but this will get affected, right? So uh, <coughs> when I go with uh, Virat Kohli, uh, I'll see Sandeep Sharma because this one is getting affected. So I, what I want, it's I want to edit interaction with the other column, right? So yeah, it's fine, fine now. It's working fine now. Okay. <coughs> so. Uh, uh these all analytics we wanted to see guys and now uh let's create one uh, graph of uh let's say i want to see uh, the overs that we created right so we have overs so we'll have to create a measure one right so i want to see average run scored in each over right so i want to create one measure over the uh <coughs> i want to create one measure over the overs right so let's click on this i'll create a new measure and it will give me an option to create a new measure and this measure would be uh, average this would be average of uh, runs scored uh, runs of the bat okay and uh, yeah and and because it's a ball by ball data and we want it for overs and each, each over we are assuming okay this would be on an average six balls per over right so i'll multiply it by six okay now <coughs> what i want is uh, I want to create a let's say a bar chart for each over, right? And it would something come like here. And in this particular bar chart, I'll add uh, <coughs> my x-axis is basically my overs that I have, and in y-axis I have the measure that I built. Okay. Okay. So what I have here, it's like average runs for over, and your highlighted six measure it's. Uh, 
so you will see for each over i have like how many runs on an average is being scored in that particular over right so in the end you can see like in death overs 1920 you are having like higher run rate of those overs right so <clears throat> that was most of the analytics guys uh we can do more things but let's for the sake of this video let's limit it to here one thing i wanted to show you guys is how do you <coughs> <coughs> how this uh, particular tool is uh, you know mostly used right so let's say uh, i'm building a fantasy team right and there's a you know i'm building a fantasy team between uh, let's say mumbai right and uh, what let's let me take a good example okay so let's say i'm building a fantasy team and i have uh, first of all i'll limit it to you know, there are many factors involved so i'll limit to down 16 to 22 because many things have changed right in recent ipls right now once i've done that slicing i'll select one striker let's say i select uh, <coughs> it's common name some you know which would be easier to understand let's say i go with david miller okay so i've stick, uh, chosen david miller and i've taken the baller as uh, you know dreras okay so uh, it's not that useful let's say bhuvneshwar kumar okay so what i see here is that uh, 16 uh, like Bhubaneshwar had bowled 9 balls and Miller scored 16 runs of it, right? So if in today's game, these two are there, so it's more chances Miller would be uh, dominate over Bhubaneshwar Kumar, right? This is like one analytics that I'm getting here, right? <coughs> and then the other advantage of Power BI that you drill through one data and you know, all the data are getting filtered and you can easily remove that. So I'll just click here and it will remove the selections, uh, whatever I've selected and uh, yeah now let's uh, you know first import a theme here right so i downloaded one theme before uh, starting this video and you can do that too just go to like a common power bi theme it would be a json file that you have to download and you just have to go on once you have downloaded a json file just go in themes and in the end you will have a browse for themes right and you'll have one theme uh, that you've downloaded for example i have downloaded this one right so this is one site or uh, metric uh, metric list which allows you to give power bi themes right it's uh, like you can have you can have to pay for some and some themes are for free so this is like a free version of the of one of those and once you just open it and it'll uh, you know uh, <coughs> beautify whatever dashboard that you have built right so you don't need to uh, select each dashboard you know correct it right just so now look way better than it was and you can also let's do one thing let's also image a add an image here right just to make it look even better right so <clears throat> let me see if i can i think i had one logo downloaded right like this <coughs> okay so this was just like a small tutorial guys uh, of how you can do uh, cricket analytics just easily right because you might have seen okay i've just mostly done a drag and drop of fields right to get uh, you know data and put analytics here and you can do the similar thing <coughs> yeah, and uh, you know just to uh, if you want just uh, what you are seeing here right for example uh, let's say in this particular card when i talk about this particular card and let's say not this particular card this particular card okay so this is my uh, striker data right so when i do a striker data and uh, <coughs> uh, because the theme was black so you know it's gone right so let me just change the color of it uh, slicer header and uh, font color let's say i'll make it black okay <coughs> oh sorry that was a header <coughs> a slight setting selection general okay visual slice setting values okay and font color let's say i pick it black okay so now <coughs> all these values that are coming are being filtered on the basis of these selections right so if i select more data more player would be coming here right so these, uh, you know, these values you are seeing, these are coming because I clicked on uh, edit interaction, right? So now I uh, once I have selected some value here, so I can uh, put okay, okay, which visuals should affect this particular visual, right? So <coughs> what I want, I don't want my visual to be affected by this. I don't want my visual to be affected by this. This particular, uh, you know, drop down. I don't want it to be affected by this. I don't want uh, it to be affected by. Uh, this and this also right so i just need to uh, click on this uh, point. like similarly you can do for all the graphs and just uh, you know play along uh, you know <coughs> experiment uh, as much as you can 
and you know what i believe is the best way to learn any tool is to put your hands on it on that particular tool and just uh, experiment and you'll make some errors and you'll learn along the way right so guys the main purpose of making this video was to uh, you know enjoy the cricketing journey while learning the analytics side of it and you know people who are working full time in cricket analytics it's kind of a dream job for some and if you are a cricket enthusiast if you love cricket right so this is something that you should try and uh, because it's it's like a uh, you know combination of your uh, you know work and you know hobbies right and which is like an ideal combination so i hope you like the video do let me know uh, you know how was it and uh, you know what all things you like to see in the next videos and uh, if you want to get this data you can ping me on linkedin or uh, you know you can get the description of this data in the you know description of this video as well so yeah keep learning and uh, enjoy the cricketing season